Hey, what's up everybody? I'm sad to say I can't recommend that you upgrade to 3.0 in ArcGIS Pro. And I've got a few reasons for that and I'll get to those later, but I need a couple things from you first. Two things. First, if you're new to the channel, go check out my other content. And if my content has been helpful to you and you're a subscriber and you keep coming back, I appreciate that very much. But one thing I do need is I need to complete some interviews with a bunch of people working in GIS. I don't care if you went to school for GIS or whether you went to school for something else and you're doing GIS as part of your work. I don't care if you're new at it. I don't care if you're very experienced. I, I want to talk to you and hear your GIS journey. So hit me up at this email right here and uh, I'll send you my schedule and we'll get you on the on the agenda to get an interview. They don't take very long. They're actually quite fun. It's fun to chat with people and hear their stories. Now the second thing I need you to do, I have a buddy who started a YouTube channel about detailing cars. He's an amazing, amazing guy. He details cars and he puts videos up on YouTube. Go on over if you're interested in cars, like cars like I do, head on over and give him a subscribe. His channel name is Pray for Snow Auto. That's P-R-E-Y. The number four and snow. I'll put a link in the description so you can go subscribe to his channel. Isn't that so sick? <laughs> it makes me so happy. He's he's a really cool guy. In fact, we have a lot of stories together, and one of my favorite GIS stories is with him. And I I should go get his recording of it so that you can <laughs> experience. One of the funniest stories I have of working with maps and working for a local government. Now, 3.0. I upgraded to 3.0 because I wanted to not have to wait in the traverse tool for a line to complete before I was entering the next line. And I've hit some snags that are really, really frustrating. There's a, the first thing is this. Pro fires off this Excel to SQ Lite 64 process, takes up quite a bit of my CPU. There have been times when I've had 100% of my CPU taken up by this process and it's it sticks around even if I close ArcGIS Pro down. I don't know what's going on with that. There is this workaround they have on the website. Uh, I don't know why you would have to install something. It seems like the install file should take care of that. I have gone through this workaround. I haven't really seen any improvement haven't really had much experience with it either. I, I just did it. And another issue I had was with the Traverse tool itself. I have contacted tech support and it is a bug. When I'm doing curves, I like to enter the delta angle. And you can see here in this clip that when I enter a delta angle, it doesn't give me the a degree or angular units. It gives me feet, a linear unit to enter into that delta angle. So that's pretty frustrating. I can override it using the D shortcut key to force it into degrees, and uh, it, but it's frustrating. I mean, I shouldn't have to hit that D key. And I hope that gets fixed. I was hoping it would get fixed in this latch, last patch at 3.02. It didn't, so still looking forward to that, to getting that bug fixed, but that Excel SQL Lite thing, that's, that was what the deal breaker for me was. Upgrade if you need to, but keep an eye on that on your task manager to see when it fires up one of those processes. There you go, that's my two cents. Take it as you will. I hope they get those things fixed quickly. Thanks for watching and don't forget to sign up for an interview and go subscribe to Pray for Snow Auto. Here's one of B's videos right here and here's another one of mine. We'll see you next time.